when I go to write a play, I'm attempting on some level to just create something that's a bit of a, in a sense, a roller coaster ride, or uh, in this case, it, it, a haunted house, or like. <laughs> So I wrote The Thin Place because I've always wanted to write a play that recreates in some way the feeling I would have as a kid. I have to pee, but I'm scared to go up to go to the bathroom because I'm scared I'll turn a corner and see two twins in the hallway. In attempting to write a horror play, you have to ask yourself, well, what do you find scary? And what I find scary is the notion that somebody would put a thought in your head that you can't get out of your head or that your mind can in some way be controlled or that your thoughts are not actually your own thoughts. It's the story of two women, Hilda and Linda, their relationship uh, from its beginning to its end. And what these two women have in common is they both seem to have some sort of ability to make contact with the spirit world. How they do that is where they differ. I'm asking the audience to fill in the blanks with their imagination. At the same time, I think maybe what I'm doing with The Thin Place in particular is I'm questioning their imagination's impulses. There are certain things that your brain kind of does all by itself, and some of it can be wonderful, and some of it can be really, really um, dangerous. I think I'm, I'm trying to point at that a little bit. Of the many appeals of working at Playwrights, the biggest one that comes to mind is I really enjoy the collaboration with everybody here on staff, and, and it's a place that makes a playwright feel safe so that the playwright can in turn do their own dangerous work. The scarier the play is to, to work on, the more you want to feel like you've got people here who have your back and, and will support you and, and, and help you bring to the stage the vision that you want.